Paint time, paint time, paint time, paint time, paint time, paint time, paint time. Hello, Alex. So last week you asked me what this painting was after I put it in my other Manny video and I didn't tell you because I figured I would basically just show you. I decided I wanted to do a portrait of a dog who means a lot to me and my family and who hasn't been doing so great as of late. But I love him so much and so many of my family members love him a lot too. He's really stubborn and he's really soft, and he is really, really attached to the people he loves. So I chose a good picture, and that's what I'm trying to do. Just took some time on a Saturday and sat down and tried to make that picture. So I really like painting. When I was younger, I used to take on these fairly large statues to paint or community painting projects most summers, and I really had a blast. But there's a lot of reasons I've found to like painting lately, too. So I thought I would just talk through some of those while the speed painting is happening up there. always liked how colorful painting is and can be. I especially like mixing my own colors. I like thinking about how things will combine and how to tweak a color so I get a really particular shade, especially from a picture when I'm trying to recreate one. I feel like I'm mixing potions except without the stress of imminent explosions all the time. I like that painting is messy. I had to change shirts twice while I was painting this because I kept getting paint on them but, like, it comes out. I've got it out of my hair. I'm pretty good at it. I've also liked how painting can be a group activity. Like, when I was younger, my younger brother used to sit with me while I painted, and he'd chat to me and just get paint everywhere and make a mess, and I do miss that. I listened to a lot of old episodes of The Adventure Zone while I was making this painting, because that's the kind of chatty, silly, not-too-deep background noise that I've, uh, really needed lately. <laughs> I feel like I can play to my strengths when I'm doing paintings from pictures or real life too. I know some people can paint from imagination, but for me one of my favorite parts is kind of figuring out that I can recreate something I really like looking at. Some perspective or a color palette or a scene or some object or creature that made me feel something cool. I like building up pieces and layers into some kind of hole that gives me those kinds of feelings. I feel like this kind of painting really rewards dwelling on the details, which is kind of my specialty. Lately, too, I am grateful that painting makes me sit with something for a while. You pretty much have to stay in one place, this time for several hours, and slowing down like that has been really helpful. But a lot of the time right now, I feel like everything around me is spinning really fast, like I'm on some kind of carnival ride or in the middle of a tornado, and the more I try to keep up, the dizzier I get. But doing this is just another way for me to get into one of those outside-of-time zones where the time is irrelevant and my focus really takes over. I don't have to think about what's going on around me. I can just lean into being patient, and while I'm painting... I just, I feel like I can take as long as I need to. And I do like that painting, like, as a style of art is really forgiving enough that that's possible, too. 
I think I'm kind of a perpetual beginner when it comes to most ways of making art. Like, I go just long enough in between times when I'm painting or drawing or whatever that I'm sort of always starting from the ground up. Like, I have had some training and some practice, but, you know, I'm always kind of starting from a point where I have to, like, really remember that and think back to times when I was doing it more regularly. I'm always kind of guessing, I guess, is what I mean. But that's really okay with painting because I don't need to work that quickly. And mistakes are really easy to either, like, move on from or incorporate or to honestly just cover up. The stakes aren't that high. Low pressure. With this painting in particular, too, my biggest goal wasn't to make a technically good painting or even really to recreate the image that I was working from. It was to make something that hopefully is going to make my family smile. I think having that kind of goal is another way to remove the pressure from the act of making something. It's not about some external perfect or standard. It's just about what feels good. So I feel like I'm being way too earnest here about how much I like the process of painting. But it's all true. I hope it's not so introspective that it's uninteresting. But even if the journey is more important than the destination and all that wishy-washy, hippy-dippy kind of stuff, I do want to show you how the final painting came out in the end. Here's the picture and my version of it. I like how it turned out. Talk to you soon, Alex. I hope you're having a good holiday. Stay warm. <laughs>